It's my feel good breakfast show. Yeah, what was that sound you made there? You went, uh, what, what on earth? Anyway, you gotta start somewhere, right? Which actually reminds me of a, a philosopher Lao Tzu who once said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Now, every year, the Uno Guaja Challenge represents a message of hope to follow your heart and dare to believe that anything is possible by cycling from Cape Town to Peter Maritzburg before the Comrades Marathon. Now, this year, they're attempting their greatest challenge yet by walking from Cape Town to Peter Maritzburg, then running the Comrades Marathon. Here's why. The Unigwaja is not about a cycle ride or a run, or something to practice physical endurance for the elite few. It's a journey of hope for everyone, and we want you to be part of it. This journey has reminded me that each one of us and our actions really matter. It's about people who are willing to walk for themselves. You do nobody any favors if you do their walking for them. It's about every single one of us having the belief that we can walk for ourselves. It's about our beautiful country that our Madiba dreamt for us and sacrificed for us. It is possible. This is something we can all own and be part of equally. Everyone's journey is different, but together we are our country's legacy. The act of people standing up, joining together, to walk together, is something really worth fighting for. Well, that very bearded man is very shaven right now. John McEnroy joins us in the studio. Great to have you back, man. Of course, nice from the Uno Guaja. And I can't believe we, we're at this point again where, you know, last year we were talking about you leaving for, for Peter Maritzburg and you're doing it again. But this year, instead of cycling, you're deciding to walk. It sounds crazy. It probably is crazy in a lot of people's minds, but tell me about why have you decided to kind of raise the bar to this level? It's not about raising the bar, just it's something that feels right within this journey. Over the last five years, we have, we've connected with so many people across the country and so many people have opened their arms and wanted to take part in this event. Yeah. And uh, in 2013, outside Lady Freer, a young boy ran to the side of the road while I was cycling past and his hand in the air. This is while you were doing the Uno Guaja in 2013? Yes, uh, and, and he ran to the side of the road shouting, Uno Guaja, Uno Guaja. And it was like that young nine-year-old or however old that guy was in Lady Freer, the story had touched him. And yet there was something in me that said like, we're cycling past, we're inspiring this guy, but, but what more? We want, we want to actually be able to enable that young man to be part of it. And yeah. there were many parts along the way where, where cycling is a barrier. There's safety issues. A bike is, is, a, is, you have to have money to have a bike. And a lot yeah. of people in our country don't have a bike, let alone be able to, to cycle 200 kilometers. So the they want to be part of this journey to feel inspired by it. This journey is their journey. It's our journey as a country. And um, whoever is part of it, whoever is in this country can be part of it. And I think that the, the beauty about tomorrow's journey is it's not an event or it's not, it's something much bigger than that. And yeah. it's something that anyone can be part of. And, yeah. and we just, uh, making it accessible to, to all, taking the barriers away and yeah. saying, this is your journey, let's guide it. Yeah. Now that's the beauty of the journey, but the reality of it is that you're actually gonna be walking from Cape Town to Peter Marisburg. So g give me a bit of a sense of the logistics of how you plan on making this happen. The reality of it is in year one, with the, the resource um, sort of constraints that we have, we've only been able to take 30 days to, uh, to do the journey, which means that basically we've got to run and jog uh, sort of large parts of it um, yeah. to, in order to get there by the 30th of May, because the cycle team will still Leave on the 21st of May, as per usual, the fifth Unaguaja Challenge team, where there's people from all over the world taking mm. part. But now we've got this this uh, incentive to be in Maritzburg by the 30th of May, the day before Comrades, to walk into the city hall together as the cyclists, the runners, the walkers, and the people of Maritzburg to say we are together, we are one. And I think there's been no more important time in our country uh, yeah. post apartheid to say we're together, you know, and and we're one. And and walking, it's a tangible way. It's it's not uh, it's not like a social media campaign. And it's yeah. not something that's happening overnight. It's the start of hopefully a journey that will will be ongoing in our yeah. country. And you're also doing this uh, for the benefit of the Light Fund, right? Yeah. Um, and you've also almost raised a million rand for them. Yeah, we're on 850,000 or some 850,000 rand. So, so what, what is the Light Fund all about? Tell us about what the money is used for there. So the Unaguaja Light Fund, again, is, is like uh, to do with the evolution of Unaguaja. And, and we wanted to be part of, of empowering people. And mm. we wanted to not give 
things to people because we found that handouts and stuff and giving sometimes actually creates a, a worse problem than there was in the first place. And we've so, seen so many people with so much heart and so much um, ability to drive their own lives forward and to be an example and I guess a shining light within their community. And, and the two Uruguay lights that we have established so far is one in Craddock called mm -hmm. the Vucu Sabenze Homeless Shelter. And then there's a, a, an amazing place in Bloemfontein called the Le Bonne Village. And, all of them are, are built upon the ethos of, of empowerment and, yeah. and, and, and no such thing as, as giving handouts. Yeah, man. Listen, I, I'm so inspired. Every single time you come to the studio and tell us about your journey, it just grows more and more inspirational. So good luck with the walk, uh, a journey of 1,660 kilometers over 30 days, and then after that, taking on one of the most grueling ultra marathons in the world, the Comrades Marathon. It, it is all part of the Uno Guaja Challenge of 2015. If you'd like to get involved and support, go to www.unoguaja.com, and you can also follow them on Twitter, with uh, using the hashtag Uno Guaja. I mean, Ewan, oh, when are you and I gonna do this, buddy?